How's it going? I'm Coach Colin Castella and welcome to NOAA Basketball where today we're going to teach you how to use the index finger shooting release. Alright, so your shooting release is really, really important and the index finger is one of three options that we really, really like players to use, um, but it just kind of depends player to player which one works best. So today we're going to break it down and teach you how to keep the ball in perfect alignment with your index finger. But before we jump into it, you're going to want to click the link in the top description down below and check out NoahBasketball.com. Noah is a game-changing technology that's really changing the way the world thinks about shooting instruction and kind of it's going to help coaches and players hit more shots and win more games. So you're going to want to click that link down below and check it out because it is absolutely insane. Now, when we're thinking about an index finger release, basically what we're talking about is your index or your pointer finger is going to be the last finger to touch the ball and it's going to be in the center of the ball as it moves towards the hoop. Now, the big mistake that a lot of players make is that they put their hand position somewhere off to the side or behind the ball or it gets cramped. So when they go up into their shot, even if their index finger is the last one to touch it, it might be off center or out of alignment, something like this. Now, the reason why this is important is because if we're shooting a shot, and if our, if our finger is just barely off the center line of the basketball, it's going to move it either left or right, right? So the whole idea is we want to try to get that index finger directly in the center of the basketball. And then when we snap our release, we want to snap that index finger straight down through the hoop, right? Not out to the side, not out to the side. We want to snap it straight down because again, alignment is incredibly important when it comes to hitting shots on the basketball court. Now, one thing to think about too is that with, with an index finger release, it makes it easier if we don't try to flex all four fingers down with it, right? We hear a lot of times on a follow through hand in the cookie jar or gooseneck, but the problem is we get a lot of tension in our upper wrist right here. So instead, with an index finger release, if on this snap, if you can release with your pointer finger down and your other three fingers up just slightly, it's going to allow your wrist to get better snap, better movement, and it's going to release some of that wrist tension as well. So a lot of times people talk about, wow, I can't get backspin, I can't get rotation on my shot. A lot of times it's because they're trying to flex all four fingers down at the same time. So with the index finger release, one major key is, right, number one, we want to get that index finger in the center of the basketball as early as we can on our way up. And number two, we want to flex just our index finger down and our other three fingers up, right? You can almost think about it like, like you're pinching your thumb and your index finger together. If you can do that, you're going to be able to keep the ball straighter and we're going to use that index finger to keep it straight towards the hoop. All right, if this video helped you out, you're definitely going to want to hit the like button and then hit the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. We're making a ton of great videos for the NOAA basketball channel, so leave a comment down below and we'll hopefully we will get to it. And if you're new, definitely going to want to click the top link in the description down below and check out the NOAA system. It is game changing technology that's absolutely going to revolutionize your team and your players jump shots. So click the link down below and you will not be sorry. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with NOAA Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, we'll see you later.